The individual we shall focus on today is Roy Barnett Curtis of Rideout Street, London. Roy Curtis enlisted in the 1st Battalion Canadian Expeditionary Force on September the 18th, 1914, one of the first to answer the call to arms, just 18 years of age. He arrived in England on October the 14th, 1914, and, it's, and his unit found itself on the Western Front in early 1915. He and his unit participated in the Second Battle of Ypres from April 22nd until May 25th, where poison gas was used for the first time. This is also the battle where John McCrae wrote in Flanders Fields. During this battle, Roy Curtis was wounded in the right arm, was hospitalized, and returned to his unit on May 30th, 1915. On June 15th, he was wounded once again in an attack against the German lines near Givenchy. Wound, gunshot wound to the left arm this time. This injury proved fatal and he passed at the number one Canadian stationary hospital where he was initially buried. He is now buried at the Cabaret Rouge British Cemetery. <laughs>